Thank you so much, Toastmaster, and thank you to everyone for being here. And I'm so excited to share this content that I prepared, but let me tell you a heads up, I'm very nervous. <laughs> I decided, hey, why not step out of my comfort zone with this one? So, you know what I can say is, I'd like to start off with the question, who in the room feels very vulnerable, is scared of being vulnerable? Could you raise your hand? And hey, if you're afraid, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm in that boat. I feel very vulnerable a lot of times. So I want to start it off with this. All of us are trying to put our best face forward. We always highlight everything on social media, filter upon filter upon filter. You know how many filters is on that Instagram. There are so many and it keeps on growing. And people filter that photo so much to the point where the photo looks so fake. It's insane. But you know what? People are putting out the highlights out there, but a lot of people don't know, and you yourself don't know that there's so much going on behind the camera. Just like um, Jerry Sam said, that we don't know who we are as people, actually. Nobody really takes the time out and invests the time into themselves to get to know who you are, to reflect who it is that you are, to get to know yourself, you know? And some people go, oh, I'm too busy, I'm this, I'm that. Hey, let me tell you, everybody is busy. We all have 24 hours in the day. It's just that the way you utilize it, you see? And what, what else happens? We go on social media, we look at our friends, we look at our family, and we look at them and we're like, wow, they look like they have everything going for them. We see the glitz and the glamour, everything there. And we're like, what am I doing wrong? There's something that I'm obviously doing wrong because they're my age, their career is booming, but yet here I am, same age, just stuck in my apartment, maybe drinking red wine every day. I mean, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> So I want you to just invest time into yourself to get to know who it is. Are you? Who are you inside? Because it really matters the most. And I know it sounds very cliche, but ask yourself, are you happy? And ask someone else. Don't ask them, how are you? Ask them, are you happy? Because you'll be surprised that a lot of people are actually not that happy. I'd like to now move it on to vulnerability and transparency. Believe it or not, for most of my life, I was extremely shy. And there are so many friends and family that can say, yes, Yimna was very shy. She didn't want to speak, didn't even pay for her food in the food court, gave her money to assist it, to talk to the waiter, to get the food. I mean, that's how afraid I was. It was bad. And one of the, one of the main things that really bothered me, well, bothered a lot of people, was the fact that I used to walk around with a guard on my face, on, on my whole body. I always had a God up. I didn't allow people to get even close to me, not just only physically, but emotionally. It was really bad. And I feel like when I look back, if I just had connected and been vulnerable with myself, I would have been able to connect to people in ways that I never thought was even possible on new levels, maybe levels that haven't even been defined today, really. <laughs> And, you know, this is how bad it was. Let me give you an example. I was so afraid of physical contact, too, that I used to run away when people used to try to hug me. No, and I'm not joking. Like, I used to run to the other side that in school, people used to kind of take bets with, hey, who can run off to Yimna and try to hug her, even though there's no reason to hug it. I mean, really. <laughs> so that's how bad it was, and that's one of the reasons why I never had a boyfriend for a very long time. I'm 26 years old now. Nash right there is my very first boyfriend. <laughs> and this was only like four years ago. Only four years ago. It's crazy to believe, but I can tell you there is so much beauty about being vulnerable. You'll be surprised. You'll be able to connect with not only yourself, but with others in ways that you never, ever thought was possible. I've seen doors open, I've seen my world change, I've seen positive things, like boom, it just happened, it just happened for me. And I'm so, so very glad about it. So don't be afraid to be yourself. And let me tell you, when you start comparing yourself to other people, your self-doubt goes down, your, I mean, your self-doubt goes up, your self-esteem <laughs> goes down, 
And it just is like a domino effect. And it's really funny because I was speaking to my friend Yasmin at the back um, the other day about turning dreams into goals. She's like, you know, don't, don't think about speaking at the TEDx talk, you know, as a dream, turn it into a goal, you know? And it's so true because once we start comparing ourselves to other people out there, we look at it and our dreams just remain up there in the unicorn fairyland. I mean, no wonder those unicorns look so high. You know, like, like that's where all the dreams are. Like every dream is just perfect. You know, so it's like a domino effect. So the dreams are up there because we compare ourselves to other people. Our self confidence is non-existent. It goes down, and therefore we don't take action. And those dreams, boof, out the window. They don't even get turned into reality. Even just goals itself. It really is so true. So. I want you to really take time to get to know yourself. Take time to reflect, you know, who it is that you, you really are in person. Because I promise that, how is it that you can, you know, love someone else if you can't love yourself? You know, you really got to think about that. And I'd like to end off with this quote by Gary Vee. It's a very, very popular quote. Well, I don't know if it's that popular, but for me it is, because I love Gary Vee. So it goes like this. Your transparency is what will lead to other people's transformation. Let me say that again. Your transparency is what will lead to other people's transformation. Thank you so much. And remember that. Remember that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.